I welcome you with love and peace be with you. On September 4th, I was, as a family therapist, as a spiritual teacher, talking about the importance of family in terms of maintaining and uplifting the human culture. We've known this for thousands of years. And I was citing some very clear statistics is that as the family breaks down, the society tends to break down. I was shocked and surprised when everyone who was listening gave me feedback that why I'm speaking, it was only 10 or 15 minutes, the, uh, they were taken off the channel, that it went blank. Obviously this is, sense, is, is, is a, a very immediate form of censoring. The key here is understanding that, from my point of view, there are community standards. I use the community standards that go back thousands of years. I use the Ten Commandments, Ten Speakings, the Nama and Niyamas from the Vedas, the Buddhist Eightfold Path, the traditional standards that have upheld uh, morals, ethics, and spirituality. That's my community standard. And this is in stark contrast to what we can see as a community standard based on a spurious PC. Now, you think that means politically correct, but when we begin to understand it, it means pollution of consciousness, perversion of consciousness, and the sense that it's an effort to pervert people's conscience to a particular way of thinking. And this isn't even the community standard of the public square, which has to do with freedom of speech, you know, short of inciting violence or harm, which talking about the family certainly doesn't do. So what we have is a definition of fascism. Now what is that? In a broader term, it's corporate, national, or international corporate energies or po political control that doesn't allow freedom of speech and, more important, actively suppresses it with the power of the corporation or the power of the state. I believe these actions completely fulfill that definition. What's the good news? Since that time, America is starting to wake up to understand that this is a problem, that this is unacceptable, that the community uh, square needs to get squared away and back to our tradition of freedom of speech. So, may we all be blessed and inspired to support this movement back to actual freedom of speech, um, honorable exchange of ideas for the upliftment of society. And now you have a chance to look at the video for yourself to understand what was said. Blessings to you and peace be with you. Today there's a lot of chaos in the world. And are you on the right, are you on the left, and there's a false polarity. What's needed is not leftist or rightist, but righteousness. Different way of thinking about things. Habakkuk 2.4, he said, the righteous live by their faith in God alone. So we're talking about a way of living in the world that is honorable, that is one that creates peace, that is one that sanctifies all our actions, and uplifts the web of life of the living planet. Righteousness is what we're talking about. 
It's not self-righteousness. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about living in a way that uplifts the love of life in the planet. And it is living in a way that um, connects to, to the more perennial cosmic morality, cosmic ethics, living in a way that brings back the acknowledgement of God as the center of creation. We're talking about a way that's a lifestyle that puts the experience of the divine in the very center of our life. When we look at the rise and fall of societies, we are looking at a, a common phenomenon, which is when we move away from the truth who we are, and begin, which is, uh, we're not the body, we're not the mind, we're that, or I am that, that exists prior to consciousness. And we no longer identify with the physical body or, or the illusion of gender, um, and we see that we're prior to that. And we no longer identify with our mind, which is filled with all kinds of thought forms, which has nothing to do with who we are. Then we get back to our essence. And it's from there that the power of righteousness begins to guide us. And again, I want to emphasize, I'm talking not self-righteousness, not I'm better than that person, but it's a way of honoring everyone. A way we call it Varegya, equal vision. We see the divine in everyone. It's Viveka, the ability to tell the difference between the temporal reality and the cosmic reality. And living in a way that brings in the cosmic reality that guides us in how we live in the temporal reality. So it's a worldview. And it's well living in the, in the world. And if we look at, again, societies that have fallen, Rome, Rome is an example, um, they move away from the core of who they are. And then the moral degeneration takes place. And we, the America is looking at that crisis today. We have an opportunity now, still, to go back to the holy ways, the God-based ways in which the country was founded, and really, which all humanity is based in, when we really get it. And turn things around. Or we can keep going. There's an old Chinese saying is if you head in a certain direction, you actually end up in that direction. So there is a need today to go back to the idea of righteous living, moral, ethical, based on the perennial ethics, go to ten speakings, the um, Buddha state full path, the Yama Niyamas, the Vedas, it's a way of life that actually brings integrity to all that we do. It brings humility to all we do. It brings love to all that we do. And ultimately it brings oneness. And within oneness there are differences. Okay, fine. That is not a problem. If you don't take the differences personally. If you don't say, well, if that person is like me, then they're bad, and I need to attack them. That's chaos. That's moral degeneration. So this is a very unique time in history where we really are given some warnings. We can see which way it goes and make real choices of how 
we choose to live in the world? Are we going to choose in the way to honor sacredness in the world? Are we going to live in a way that's a blessing to everyone? Or are we going to live in a way that's a curse? And it is our choice. So may everyone choose well and choose consciously because we are all responsible for what's happening. And may we live in a way, in a way that actually uplifts the consciousness of the global mind. Blessings everyone. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om shanti, shanti, shanti. Om takyuasan. to respond or just to respond if the purpose is to um, speak my truth. So let's think about a different way. We uh, the idea of living with righteousness, not self-righteousness, is a manic speak your truth in a way it uplifts the other person. That's really that's the real art of it. Why are we communicating if not to uplift everyone else around us? Otherwise, what's the purpose? To be right? That's the way people are thinking today. I, I, I do understand that. But so I'm adding that caveat. Speak your truth in a way that uplifts the other person and gives them options to kind of see in a different does that answer your question? It's yes. A high, it's a high order. Of course it's a high order. But what else are we here for? Anybody else? It's really a great question because, in other words, instead of taking it as if somebody says something that we don't get. We don't need to get offended. How can we uplift the discussion? It's huge today. I, 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 uh, what's going on? It's a little embarrassing to see so-called uh, mature adults, called politicians, you know, doing things that are just. Hey, I thought you learned better in kindergarten. I'm not sure I can do that. So am I better off just resisting? Yes. The conversation. Yes. If you if you can't see a way to uplift that person and to uplift the situation and to sanctify the situation, better not to say anything. Silence is golden, so to speak. Any other questions? Okay, that's it. Okay, blessings to everyone. Again, shalom, 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 that means peace. Om shanti, 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 that means peace. Om atakyuasin, which is to all my relations. The rock people, the plant people, animals, flying ones, swimming ones, and the ones with history, the human.